Words. They are things made out of letters and can be used to say a bunch of things. Like how I can say, that with the fuck out for believing that his IQ is higher than 0.1. Why thank you, 123 does come after seeing the alphabet after all. See, one of the only benefits of this fucking job. But while previous combatants, pen and pencil, could both create whatever they want, there are two specific objects that stood in their way. Convenient tools, weird designs, similar rivalry, use in school, all this made up bullshit, and more described today's utterly confusing matchup. Because continuing to train the pen versus pencil is always a good idea. Yes it is. Eraser, the rubber of worlds. And correction tape, the whiteout of doom. He's not likable, but I'm not boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armors, and skills to find out who would win. A not their bell, and see when not boomstick stops saying retarded shit. Yeah. Throughout all the inanimate objects used in NDB, there tends to be a common trope: simplicity. Wait, wait, wait a minute, simplicity? I thought the common trope was that all inanimate object battles were dumb as shit. Think about it. Most inanimate objects are made with one set purpose. A rock is supposed to look cool. Scissors cut things. A pickaxe mines things. A mountain sits in place and looks fancy. A flashlight lights up the darkness. A wall holds up the building. Catch my drift? Uh, yeah, I think it did. You're fucking insane, that's what. God damn it, they cast my epic monologue to introduce the eraser. Yeah, you're still insane, you know that? Shut up. Developed in 1839, the eraser is a tool designed to make sure the pencil doesn't get out of control when drawing shit. Well, in actuality, it gets rid of lead drawn by the pencil. That too. Be more specific next time. Sure thing! Thang! Jeez, get to the rubber analysis already! Wait, what? I think pudding is the source of all of mankind! Um, sure. Hey guys, I'm a great pudding is the source of all of mankind! Oh, fuck are you! I'm not with a long much brother, sisters, uncle, kids, and fathers, brothers, grandfathers, grandmothers, brothers, neighbors, so can you I look so better fucking girls, great, 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 Wow! I had a long lost brother, sisters, uncles, cousins, fathers, mothers, grandfathers, grandmothers, roommates, neighbors, third cousin, kins, cousins, ugly sons, motherfucking dogs, third, removed, great, 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 cat? You had a long lost brother, sister, uncle, cousin, what does that even mean? A stupid AF girlfriend, hey, not where you want to go. Yeah, no. No is STOP LEAVING THE DOOR OPEN! Leave what open? The door? Who was that again? Exactly! We'll get back to that later. Anyways, the eraser is made out of compacted rubber, which is usually shaped like a boring rectangular prism. Ignore the fact that I use compacted to describe something illogical, why couldn't they stretch the eraser to a fucking shotgun? Great for killing and dealing with pencils. That seems like a gravy idea! What you didn't know is that I had used my future vision to say that I thought it could be a good idea, where in actuality, it's fucking horseshit, and I didn't trick you into thinking it was actually good. Plus, I like the word actuality. I can make it work, and I'll allow it too! As you can imagine, the eraser's primary ability is... to erase the lead drawn by a pencil. No matter how much a pencil draws, the eraser can use any part of its body to get rid of whatever a pencil makes. It usually just does this by rubbing itself against the lead, waiting for it to burst, and making it a rough experience. Until it's all nice and done. Is that supposed to be a creepy sexual in the window or what? Rubber board! Not as great as tree board, but god it has some great material! That material being rubber and lead. Okay. And wood. But yes, the rubber just tends to rub in the lead for it goes away. Wait, is that the metal named lead that kills you? Yes it is. Nice to know. I agree! I'm not boom thinking and I don't exist! I'm your food for that I don't know you. I, I'm not boom thinking your biggest turbine fan! You're actually my giant talking turbine fan experiment gone wrong! He guess I know! I've been found out! Kaya! I should really leave that door open. I mean, not leave the door open. Uh, yep. Is that the long lost Pornopedia 3000? Yeah, Rubber! Right, right. The uh, rubber is Pornopedia 4000. What? Pornopedia 3000 is a giant turbine, and 4000 is is an array. Array rubber. Error rubber. Maybe you're long lost whatever my do not what was, talking for his own personal means. And I immediately forgot them! How do I remember myself forgetting something? What am I say? Aha! We get on topic a lot.
Not my fault that we're running out of ideas. We're not. Along with being able to get rid of lead, the rubber also has a few tricks up its sleeve as well. Or up its rubber in this case. So what, can it, uh, can it, can it swing its body around, swing some bitches around? Yeah. Can it ram its uh, enemies head on? Yeah. Will it use some specific fucking little part of its body to get little hits off? Yeah. Boom, looks like the repetitive facts still exist. Not so ye, now is. Due to the eraser being made out of rubber, a lightweight material that common can move at less fast, fast speeds. So yeah, it, it can be applied here. It can move at fast speeds because it's a lightweight and it makes you faster than everyone else. It's, that's how it works. Oh, yeah. what? can it suddenly take godlike attacks as well? Not godlike, but yes, godlike. Due to rubber also being super elastic and hard to break, the rubber can tank quite a few attacks, especially those of the blood fast trauma kind. However, you can still get to it by stabbing. Ah, it's still gonna take a bit. Okay, smartass. Does it dodge weave in between enemy attacks? Cause it's super fast and durability? Ye. Yeah. I mean, no, no, it doesn't. It's durable and strong enough to hold its own without resorting to the methods of glass cannon like paper would. A class cannon. A class cannon like paper. You're trying to ask the smarts about the anatomy of your deck deck toes! Wise! I might as well be better than you. You're saying much. better than me. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> Wait, fuck! No takes backs! I will get you back for dead this. Other than that, the Rose doesn't have any actual weaknesses taken into the consideration. It's basically an all rectangle, semi decent, well rounded fighter who doesn't have many weaknesses, but no specific advantages against something other than the pencil, because, I mean, it's a pencil sworn enemy. Actually, there is one weakness. Yeah. Fuck you. The uh, racist primary ability to get rid of lead only works on pencils and therefore can't erase anything else. That's one of the smartest things you and, well, you have and will ever say. Nice job, buddy! What did you say about my magical status of doggies? My doggy. Overall, the eraser is still quite an interesting piece of hardware to keep your pencils under wraps. All pencils will wear the erasing power of the eraser. I'm sorry, you fucking donkey! What did you say? Something? Oh no, you didn't. That's too bad. Sorry, I interrupted you while you were saying something very important. Okay, I'm gonna go now. GG, GTA, see ya. Good, uh, goodbye, donkey. I don't even think that's a goodbye, Jim. Okay, bye. You mean, I'll feed us then. Yeah, that random Japanese babble. Yeah, but that, that was, you know what, never mind. Yes! As it turns out, pencils are not the only things running amok, as pens tend to get out of control as well, from time to time. Especially that one who's in love with a rock. Oh, the, not the wrestler, it's like an actual rock. What did you say about my husband, though? Wait, you're female? <laughs> but the rock says they're both genderless. I don't care. As long as I can be with my hubby, you will never question me. <laughs> Seriously, how the f did this actually happen? Don't leave your love potions just lying around. Oh yeah, right. You sound like having uh, obsessions with the uh, Zeldas. One, no. Two, no. Three, nice pronunciation there. Three, I got the soda death from that whole debacle anyways. I didn't even have a four, I just had two threes. Yeah, fuck you. Developed in- Case in point! As I was saying- Asshole! Developed in 1956, the correction tape is a neat little tool designed to keep pens under control. Why does that sound familiar? Correction, correction tape! The actual correction fluid was made in 1956. Well, we don't know specifically when the actual correction tape was made. Oh, seriously using Google as a source? Better than just flat out using Wikipedia. Plus, pouring up is much better than that job anyways. Right. And as well as the correction tape's purpose is basically the same as the erasers, it goes about doing that in a different way. You see, the correction tape is instead designed as a canister of sorts that is used over the actual tape, so to speak. Meaning, it doesn't actually use its body to do its job, but fucking stupid! In order to release the tape that has the, you know, fluid on it, you either press some sort of button or pull back on a switch and voila, out comes the tape! The correction tape then uses the tape to cover up any errors made by ink-based writing equipment, e.g. the pen. That is correct, my fellow co-host! The correction tape primarily gets rid of ink, however. It can get rid of ink and other shit on the page too, 
if it doesn't like it that much, but you know, it's for ink, sorry. Good luck getting through that tape as well, due to it being very, very sticky. Not only does it make it harder to come off, it makes sure the tape stays on. <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of the same thing, but that is well protected to get rid of ink. Is it weird just getting really sexual all of a sudden? Just because I use a couple of words that are most commonly associated with sex doesn't mean that I'm implying it. Can you understand that, my fellow co-host? Hmm. All bananas come from Brazil! Just as I thought! Thank you for revealing the truth for me once and for all! Yes, they do! Not! What? Yes, they do! Yay! Not! They do! Not! Ah! Ah! Dang it, so close! As for the correction tapes on the primary method of attack, well, I don't want to reveal it, but it's kind of hard. Okay, like, swing its body around to attack it first? Mmm, Can it ram its enemy head on? Probably. Can it throw its entire body at you? Ah, who knows? I have a sneaking suspicions that we'll need not was to figure this out. Hang on a moment. I, I was only making a joke. Why do I even gotta read this guy? Oh yeah, now it wasn't boomsticking or anything. What's wrong with us? Building sounds. Ah, here we go. I'm back, everyone. As your nights go in. Turns out that not was was actually the Alpha Pornopedia that I based the rest of my Pornopedias on. Too bad I only remembered after looking at the code on his dick. His dick? No, a single bit of dandruff on his head. Jeez, can't believe you missed it. You better top secret motherfucking code on one of the most important robots who really came back because of this particular episode on a singular piece of dandruff. Yep. Sorry, asking him. Yep. Uh, oh, fuck! I saw the one I broke my cheekbones! Wait, I had cheekbones? I thought I had cheek skeletons! Sorry, not was. Do you know the answer to what the correction tape's other primary method of attack is? Hmm. <laughs> Dang, dude. But remember, can't think that much information. Um, are you okay? Going to th close up too much or not? Hmm, maybe that's why I forget about it. The Alpha model was so shit it couldn't even handle one question. Finally, that should be the last check bone. Now, you! The correcting day swings around just like everything fucking else! Can't you let take a fucking joke? You asked an irate thing of a human being! I'm human! Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, yeah, the correction tape analysis. Other than that, there isn't really much to talk about. It's just small and hard to hit, move at some unbearable, super fast speeds. Probably has the attack strength of one million tigers! And all that jazz. Since the most common type of tiger, the Bengal tiger, does weigh around 400 pounds, we can simply use that as a main estimate. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Yeah, if we take that number and multiply it by a million, due to it being a million, we will get the number of 400 million, meaning that the Gretchen Tate now has a strength of about 4 million tongues. Holy cow! Well done! You figured how much the Gretchen Tate weighs! Happy... Don't you mean pounds? That might or might not be the wrong statistic, but still, don't get in the way of this ink erasing fiend. Even if it weighs the same as one million tigers! Anyways, Crouching Tape doesn't have many things for readings or feeds, I mean, it's, it's a run a million amount object. I mean, I guess if it does run out of tape, because it's limited, it won't be able to do its job correctly. Um, yeah, good point. If the switch or a button got broke, it wouldn't be able to dispense the tape. True, true. And besides that, it doesn't have anything else to stand in among the crowd. I see what you're getting at. And lastly... Holy shit. So you got to say something smart again? PURPLE DINOSAUR CHICKEN farts. Arriba! Wait, no, never mind. Could at least say something related to the correction tape. Oh no, the correction tape is one spectacular piece of equipment that's ready to deal with any pen that stands in its way. Yeah, better. No amount of correction tape can never get rid of my love for rock. <laughs> I I still don't know what happened with that. But what ifs? It's not easy covering a dick with correction tape. Just for, just uh, for that, let you know. 
Alright, the weapon are ready and the combatants are set. It's time to end this pointless debate once and for all. It's time for a not death battle with the erasers and correction tape. The what? Shut up. Fight. How about we are right? That's a bad idea! Oh, fuck you! Fuck you too! I'm going to destroy you for the third time in a row, Pencil! So bad, can we, like, uh, talk this out? No! But before we do that... That's the Horizon Correction Tape! The fuck it is! Temporary truce! Let's go kill them! Yeah! Excuse me! I'm trying to take a nap! Can't I have a single day when nothing tries to attack me? You know what? Screw this! Agreed! I thought being the sun was bad enough! Are you ready to die? I'm not done yet! Oh no! Tape! My only witness! Being sarcastic or speaking the truth? Uh, both! Those final words were shit! Well, that was an experience! So, that was a thing. At first, the Eraser and Correction Tape seemed evenly matched, somehow. Both had the same type of attack power, same speed, same durability, and experience. I don't know where experience comes into this, but hey, mention it once, I'm fine, you sound very s slurped. But there is one thing that Correction Tape does have over Eraser. It can erase shit much better than the Eraser. See what I did there? Exactly! You didn't see what I did there. The Eraser only has the ability to erase lead and nothing else. If it tries to erase ink, ink won't fucking go away, and the Eraser will feel really embarrassed because it can get rid of it. Even worse, the ink can get onto the rubber. Or Eraser, what are you gonna call it? Making it weaker! That's so bad! Meanwhile, the corrected tape can not only cover and get rid of ink, but also erase lead as well. Since ink is stronger and much more. Dense? Yeah, yeah. Ink is more dense than lead now! It proves that the correction tape's ability to erase is far better than the eraser. If the eraser could get rid of both lead and ink, it would stand a chance. But unfortunately, it can only erase only lead, while the correction tape can just as easily get rid of both, giving the correction tape the win. And don't you love short conclusions? It's a pen versus pencil tradition, suddenly. True that, it looks like the eraser's chance of winning just got erased. That victory rubbed me the wrong way. No! Fuck you! Right back at ya! The winner is Correction Tape! Next time on Not Death Battle! Was information gone in this? <coughs>
might actually work. That would be nice. Oh shit. Fucking broke it. Wow. Well, uh, that works, I guess. Um. Mountain sits in place and looks fancy. A flashlight looks up the dot. <laughs> looks up the dot. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? But yes, the rubber just tends to rub on the lead before it goes away. Wait, <laughs> it rubs on the lead. Before the lead goes away, that's good. You wouldn't want to rub on the lead after the lead goes away, because that might be a bit hard to do. If you if you wrap it after it's gone, you're gonna have some problems. If, if you didn't know and you're like doing exams and like you're marking things, you don't need to rub it away. Eventually, it'll just go. Okay, don't worry. You don't need to rub. It'll just oh, what, what, yeah. walk off. But only in the you'll, you'll, You just see the lead materialize in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put this in the lake. That's the previous clips I could fucking crap on the table with my fingers. Soothing. Thanks a lot. Correction tape. It's durable and strong enough though to so without risk doing the methods a glass cannon like paper would. A class cannon. A class cannon like paper. Yeah, you your glass cannon, then you get your class cannon, because you're like, in, you go into classrooms, you got paper everywhere. I walk into the classroom at, uh, at my school, and I'm like, oh, there's paper everywhere. Then I open the microwave, and it's like, there's paper in there. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> cannon story. You know what's weird? I read it, I read it was saying that random Japanese place. I don't know why I saw Babel's place. I saw Bible. He's a Bible. Yeah, that random Japanese Bible. The Japanese Bible. I'll be the Zen. Oh, danke. You're opening up. Oh, it's a stain of a stain of a stain of a No, 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 my Bible's talking. <laughs> your, your Japanese Bible name, I'll be the Zen, danke, is German and Hitler. What? How does that work? Anyway, let's just Stop the run! I hate this. Oh, God, it's getting sexual in the window. <sighs> Ah, oh, Pornhub research. <laughs> yes! Here we are. Wait, why did not we... <laughs> oh. Oh, what the fuck? It's calculating the weight. It's in the strength. It's calculating the weight. <laughs> how's that? How's that? <laughs>